game one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The princess yeah. of SP is also a master of all the emotes. Yeah. The emote meta is very, very important to Clash Royale. And it looks as though SB has an idea as he throws out the royal ghost. Just gonna slowly creep his way across the field. And a bandit as well. It looks like we're gonna get a bit of bridge spam here from SB. The Pekka in the back is gonna have something to say about that. And a Pekka, that's kinda what ZipTV was playing a couple of days ago. Having a good idea what the deck is about. Very, very surely. There's an E-Wiz, which can be the difference, but when you summon your own E-Wiz, it doesn't matter. And the poison from Jin TV here is just going to mean that Pekka goes down on a flying machine in the back. Flying machine is such a good card, and no fireball to take it out. It connects to the Tariq. Yeah, poison so was work. just used, and the Ghost actually connected a few shots. So good start for SP. How is Jin TV actually going to connect? Is there a good defense? There's a bandit. And it won't get that charge off here, but does just about take it out with that tower help. And a log just to crush the bandit before she decides to dash into the tower. Battering Ram played at the back for SB as the P.E.K.K.A. from Jin TV starts emerging from the back. Will this trigger SB to go down the other side? That's a heavy elixir cost played right there. There we go. Easily taken care of by Jin TV. That battle ram almost seemed like he wanted. He just wanted to cycle for the next attack. Because, because that battle ram was basically wasted by having no follow up. Here comes the hogs. Do we have an answer for the hogs? The royal ghost is there, but that's not the greatest of answers. It does take a long time for the royal ghost to make bacon. But the Pekka is still alive, going to town. The poison comes down. Bandit, Ewis, Royal Ghost, Pekka making their way. The bandit charges onto the tower. And even with the battering ram on the left-hand side, which is handled easily by the guards, SB managed to get quite a bit of damage done to that bottom right-hand side. counter damage as bandit can just go through that log. It's basically invincible in that animation of having the dash. So that was a good hit. And not a bad defense, actually. That seemed like a very big one. That ram was defended perfectly on the left side. Yeah, the e -Wiz and the Royal Ghost here take it out. Oh, the Royal Ghost actually only gets to hit 1v1. So it didn't get to take out the guards. And Bandit there charging into the other Royal Ghost. And the Hogs, Pekka, are back. Flying Machine on the defense at the back. Isn't going to get hit by that poison, but will it matter? These Hogs are doing a lot of work with that poison. Less than 1,000 HP remain. Eight. 18 the final count on that, but we have two Pekkas from SP. That's another, a lot of potential. Damage. Another Pekka and the flying machine on the back. That's the wheel power shoot that SP has. Another battle ram to the guards are spawned. So not too much of a defense. Perfectly, actually. You have JTV managed to do so with the Mega Minion just enough to take out everything. Yeah, the Royal Hogs coming now. There is still the Pekka in the back. The Mega Minion goes down as Zap from SP to try and slow these hogs down. Oh, that's four, four or five. Oh, Two five. poison in range, and that's gonna be overtime. And GTV, as long as he manages to push some of his units over that bridge, poison is going to be used twice. We still have two minutes, 15 seconds. There is the first poison. Will it make a difference? The bandit doesn't get the charge, actually. The guard's distracting it just long enough for the tower to finish her off. So we are waiting for that poison to cycle for Jin TV. Does he have it? Four Elixir is there. He has to use the e -Wiz. Oh, wait, was it an e -Wiz? No. One more damage. Anything plus the log or there even a single shot from the ghost, but he has the poison to finish off the first game. Jin TV winning game one here against SB, who at some points it looked as though he eked out an advantage, but Jin TV just has the resilience and kind of had the elixir advantage to be able to push through that one. For SB, with that many units, but very slow. Except for the battle ram, which he wanted to do some distracting damage on the left. Guards were just enough to actually defend perfectly onto the left side all the time. Jin TV, even though the massive push was coming from both sides, he did not lose his pull. Yeah, the hogs were a deciding difference between these two players today. The Hogs just got work 
done regardless. They just do so much damage, so much work for a player of these of this kind of caliber. It's almost unfair. Cards with those shields. Very powerful. Right now, it's super into meta 1v1, 2v2. It can block against a lot, especially against those Infernos. It can happen forever, basically. Yeah, the Mega Minion to answer the Flying Machine. Now, I personally have started to love using Flying Machine. And it's such a good feeling when your opponent doesn't have Fireball. Yeah, so, so good. It at least draws out that Fireball, too. But it, it is banned out in this game. So that's even better. The reason why you have that Fireball. Will we see SB manage to tie this up at one game each? Or will his losing streak continue? We're going to find out as Jin TV takes on AHQ SB in set two, game two. <laughs> yeah. So Jin TV in blue at the yeah. bottom. SB in red at the top. What are we going to see in this game, G Clef? A lot more emotes before we have the units. Maybe not. Will we see. Will we ever get to see the screaming Hogamo in an actual match today? I don't think we are. Units are down now. That means it's over. Okay. We see the Ice Golem and the Hunter played at the I was thinking here. about the Three Musketeers uh, for a second. Oh, nice angle on that Magic Archer. Yeah, it gets. The, got the Ice Golem and the Hunter and the Tower. Oh, the Poison Stink. Massive value here. Yeah, but now there are two Musketeers onto that Tower, and they do damage ridiculously quickly. 1,830 on the top left Tower for SB. Yeah, no Fireball, which means this was expected very likely along with the Hogs. Yeah, Hogs and the Skeletons here with the Log will slow it down, but not quick enough as that damage is piling in 1557. As we see the E-Wiz take out the Valkyrie there. And those three skeletons don't even get close to the tower. Yep. They won't really do too much. They won't really have too much effect unless they are going against the P.E.K.K.A. to delay all the small units. Here come the Hogs from Jin TV as well. Rascals and a log. Rascals seem to be the answer here for SB. Not too bad. Yeah, took it out before a lot of damage got done. And the Rascals come through unscathed as the Rascal Boy takes a lot of damage and the Valkyrie there instantly cuts in half. Yeah, Jin TV actually, hogs. because he's waiting for those hogs, he does not use. It is an instant answer oftentimes to have just log those Rascal girls, but he's waiting for the hogs so he does not use it and just baits it with the Valkyrie app. There is the Magic Archer to help try and take out that Hunter, but we'll get poisoned. Oh, proven right. Arrows beat bullets. <laughs> uh, 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 no, um, anyway, Hogs coming again. This time only getting about 100 damage in and a P.E.K.K.A. used now for SB. As the, the Hogs go down the right-hand side for Jin TV, trying to get some damage onto this tower. Trying to have Attack of the both die because he has the three musketeer. Nice going to take a few shots. Let's see how well we can defend this one. Pretty heavy of a push both sides and the magic archer is doing some work. Yeah, that log actually comes down for the Rascal Girls, which opens up a very tiny window for SB to use these hogs effectively. And effectively he is using them. Look at that bottom left hand tower just going down. Less than 500 remaining. It's gonna come very soon. He has a poison. Just two poison, that's not going to be enough. But one more damage to the Magic Archer. Does he have the angle? Yes, he does. Chunking it, penetrating with the long. That may just finish, and that's going to be the poison. The finish with style for SP. He brings it back. We're tied 1-1. Great, great. That second Magic Archer there for SP did manage to find that angle to straight through everything and hit the tower. Very well spotted there for SB, finding the right combination to take out your TV there. Great, great play. Are we gonna see SB finish this out for a final SEA win at 7-1? We're gonna have to wait and see. We have one minute of tinkering time before there. 
Look at that angle right there. So much value on that magic card. Ice Golem plus the Hunter plus a tower. That's pretty rare of a sight to see. Magic Archer is really hard to actually have that. You need ex you need a lot of experience and prediction as well. Yeah, look at there. He was getting two Musketeers with every arrow. And look, he was so close to getting it through there. But it didn't matter. He took out the Valkyrie, took out everything else. Uh -huh. And look at the, the defense it does here against those hogs. Just enough the Rascals with some more damage from the arrow. Yeah, and there is one. Through the Hunter directly to the tower. That was... Beautiful sight to see. Yep, crossing arrows apparently does not destroy the universe like crossing beams from Ghostbusters, but those two magic archers there just getting work done. That's the reason, ladies and gents, why we have to study study geometry. You have to know all those angles. When you have experience, it's just good enough sometimes, but it comes down to the final game. JTB and HQ SP. The winner takes the set, and for HQ, they will grab the entire match. Or is it going to be OP Gaming? JTB bringing back for the King of the Hill. Let's get it. Game three. <laughs> so here we go. SP in red at the top of the screen for HQ Esports Club, and we have. Jin TV in blue at the bottom for OP Gaming Clash Royale. No actual emotes being thrown out. Oh, there we go. SB has an idea. Is he going to throw out the Hog Screaming emote? No, he throws out a Mega Minion instead. As Hogs come down for Jin TV, Dark Prince and the Log there. Going to take care of that as quickly as almost humanly possible. Gets one hit on those Hogs. <laughs> well, the Mega Minion is not actually. And it drags. Not to the left side, so and the princess is already hitting it, so perfect drag from the bandit. Yeah, prince comes in now at the back, so we see the double prince. We're gonna see probably the giant again, very similar to the deck that we saw uh, from TNT. TNT play. Yeah. Ewis comes in, is gonna slowly chip away at that guard. There we go. The Royal Ghost will take that out with the poison. The Royal Ghost is going to get taken out after two swipes. So how does Shin TB manage to get those hogs through those dark prints, especially because that will just be used against the hog all the time now? It's going to be very, very hard for him, but he has to know when SB has spent a little bit too, elix too much elixir and cannot throw down that four, and now is not the time. There is the log. There is the dark prince. Cleaned it up again. Just three hits this time. But he's got to know when SB has less than six hits for that combo to win. And just in time before the dash gets the shot and then shield is removed. Shield can take a thousand damage, but you will still survive as a Dark Prince. This Prince charging in straight, so need the guards. Perfect one to deal with the Prince. Yeah, guards are so, so good right now. The shield just makes them survive way too long against things like Prince and Dark Prince. As we see the giant now for SB and the Pekka from Jin TV. Was expected. Perfect right. answer. This is very similar to the TNT game we saw earlier, actually. Almost similar decks from both players. Yeah, exactly, but Prince not as effective, I would say, this time, because he has the guard along with the Rogue Ghost. Charge will be stopped by the Zap here. There's a Royal Ghost there as well. So that Prince is not long for this world as the e -Wiz micro stunning it to death. Two e is now slowly stuttering through there. And we don't see the log from SB, so Jin TV has found his hog window. As that tower goes down to 1,271, the Giant now. Yeah, but did he spend Prince. a little too much on no. that attack? Peck Double Prince is, is coming with that Giant. That guy's there. But the push is pretty big. Poison, of course, bringing down a lot of them together. Nice use of that poison. Very, very well done on the defense. Again by Jin TV there. Making sure nothing scrapes through. And his tower still sits at 1,939 as SB's is at 1,271. With that Pekka, we're going to see the Hogs probably come down very, very shortly as he knows the Dark Prince is slightly out of cycle. 
just going to use that poison. And this giant seems like it's going to be a push with the Dark Prince right after. So he wants to go for that. This attack, maybe the final one. He has put in a lot from SP. SB has committed a lot of resources, but that giant is getting work done, and the E was behind might actually be enough to finish this tower. The prince comes in. Another punch. Stopped. There's Another the punch with that log, and one more damage from E Wizard. It's going to finish it. Any kind of damage, and there's the poison. SB finishes us off today as AHQ Esports Club take out OP Gaming Clash Royale.